Yeah, so today uh, we will be looking on SAP security chapter. Okay. This is very important topic uh, if we consider as a fresher, when you apply for SAP basis as a fresher. So this chapter is, uh, we can consider as an important topic when you apply as a fresher. Okay. So what we will be looking into this chapter is how to create a user. Okay. How to create a role how to assign the role and what are profile, how we assign the profile, okay. And how to generate the report, okay, using the transaction soon. So before we start, so I will just log in into DDIC and I will just show you how this. So first transaction we will be learning is slash n su01 okay so till now actually we have learned two three transactions right one was like sm51 and other was sick i think apart from that we haven't learned any other transaction and the other was uh, slash nex so it is very important that you should know the transactions in sap okay so if you see here, till now we have learned these three transactions. And now we will be learning on SAP security. Okay, so in SAP security, the first topic what we are learning today is how to create a user. How to create a user in SAP. So what is the transaction here? Slash N. SU01. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So I have typed SU01, enter. So if you see, uh, I guess everyone can see the screen, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So if you see, there are few buttons over here, right? So first is create, the other is change, the third is display, fourth is delete, fifth is copy, and the sixth is lock, unlock, and the sixth is, seventh is change password, okay? So now we will use this fifth option that is copy option and we will create a user. Okay. So for example, say we will create a user Aditya. Okay. And I will click on this copy option. What is copy option? Copy option is nothing but whatever the authorization or the rights we can say of that particular user we can copy that user authorization okay so i will click on this so currently we have only ddic user okay in sap which is created while installation so from we can say we can copy DDIST. Okay. So whatever the authorization DDIC has, it will be have the same authorization Aditya will have. Now DDIC is a super user. Okay. So now Aditya will also become a super user. So I will click on this copy option. So it shows inconsistency with address. So we will, uh, we need to give the company address over here. That is the company name. So for example, we will give the company name just dial. Okay. 
I think everyone is aware of this company, right? Just drive. So I will just click OK. So we need to provide some details of uh, the company like address and all that stuff. So the title is company. So address we just give Pune, postal code 411028, country IN, time zone CST, PO box number 12345, Six postal code one four four one one zero two eight. Company postal code, I think it is not required. So, this many details we have just put it. I will just click OK here. So, whenever you get this pop up like inconsistency address, then you can just add the company name and then it will get saved. Okay. So if you see here, the user type is dialog. Okay, so we will look what is what are the user types later. But currently, uh, we need to select by default it is dialog. Okay, and now we need to set the password. So password currently I will set it to welcome one. And when the Aditya user logins into that, we will change the password to India one two three I capital. Because at when whenever a, a new user is created, and when he tries to log in with his password, it will ask to change the password immediately. So that's the reason here we will give the password welcome one, all in small. Okay, and now I will just save this. It will show some program error occurred, but you just need to click on this tick mark and then just uh, it will get saved. Okay. So if you see here, there is a message user Aditya was saved. Okay, so now the user is created. So I will just come out of this. I will just put slash N E X enter. And now I will log in with user Aditya. Okay. I will give the password here. Welcome one. Enter. The password it asks to change the password now. Okay, so now here I will give India123 I capital. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Keep this same practice so that uh, we know the uh, password and later on we should not forget the password. Okay, so that's the reason we keep the standard one. So now I have logged in with Aditya user. So if you see how, how we can check with, uh, whether we have logged in with Aditya user, if you see at the right hand side bottom, see you, you can check here the user Aditya. If, if you are logged in with DDIC, it, it should show the user DDIC. Okay. So this way we need to create a user. So now Aditya is also a super user. Okay. So if I, if I go into slash n su01 and enter, Aditya can also now create users. Okay, so now we have checked how to create a user using the copy option. Okay. 
So do you have any, any questions till now? Like even, even when you, uh, when you do the practice, okay, you can refer the video also. Okay. How to create the user, how, how I have shown to create a user. Okay. If by chance you forgot to, uh, where, where we need to click. Okay. So Bharat, uh, Ajinke, Nilesh and Neha, have you, have you got how, how basically I have created the user Aditya using this copy option?